Hello and welcome to the session. Today I'll help you with the following question. The question says, draw a graph for the following. Is it a linear graph? In the table given to us, we are given the side of the square and the area of the square and we have to display this information on the graph. For this, first we will draw the x-axis and the y-axis. We take the horizontal line as the x-axis and the vertical line as the y-axis. As you can see, we have drawn the x-axis and the y-axis. Now the scale that we take would be on horizontal axis that is the x-axis the scale would be 1 unit equal to 1 centimeters and on vertical axis that is y axis the scale would be 1 unit equal to 4 cm square and then using the scale we mark the side of the square on x axis and also we mark the area on the y axis as you can see we have marked the side of the square on the x axis and the area of the square on the y axis now using this table we will plot the points Let the first point be A with coordinates 2, 4 where 2 is the x coordinate corresponding to the side of the square and 4 is the y coordinate corresponding to the area. So the coordinates of point A would be 2, 4. Now let the next point be B with coordinates 3, 9 where 3 is the side of the square and 9 is the area of the square. And then let it be C with coordinates 4, 16. 4 is the side of the square and 16 is the area of the square. Let the next point be D with coordinates 5, 25. Where 5 is the side of the square and 25 is the area of the square. And then we have the point E with coordinates 6, 36. Where 6 is the side of the square and 36 is the area of the square. Now we will plot these points one by one. First let's plot the point A with coordinates 2, 4. For this we locate the point 2 on the x-axis. This is the point 2 on the x-axis. From here we move up along the y-axis to reach to the point that corresponds to 4 on the y-axis. So this is the required point A with coordinates. 2, 4. Our next point is the point B with coordinates 3, 9. For this, we locate the point 3 on the x-axis. This is the point. From here we move up along the y-axis to locate the point that corresponds to 9 on the y-axis. This is the point that corresponds to 9 on the y-axis. So, this is the point B with coordinates. 3,9. Next point is the point C with coordinates 4,16. For this, we locate point 4 on the x-axis. This is the point 4. From here, we move up along the y-axis to reach the point that corresponds to 16 on the y-axis. So, this is the required point C with coordinates 4,16. Next is the point D with coordinates 5, 25. For this again, we locate 5 on the x-axis. This is the point 5. From here we move up along the y-axis to reach to the point that corresponds to 25 on the y-axis. Now this is the required point D with coordinates 5, 25. Our last point is the point E with coordinates 6, 36. 
For this again, we locate the point 6 on the x-axis. So, this is the point 6. From here, we move up along the y-axis to reach to the point that corresponds to 36 on the y-axis. Thus, this is the required point E with coordinates 6, 36. Then we join these points. To get the required graph. As you can see on joining these points we get the required graph and this is not a straight line. So we say that no it is not a linear graph. Thus, our final answer is no. So, hope you enjoyed the session. Have a good day.